You know, for years now, satellite installers across America have been working harder for less and less. Whether you work for DirecTV, Dish Network, or one of the hundreds of contractors and regional service providers out there, installers enjoy the work of putting up Dish systems, but can be frustrated by the challenges trying to make ends meet. That's why I'm here to tell you about a new organization called STAN, or Satellite Techs Allied for New Direction, and how satellite workers are taking the lead to clean up their industry, make their companies more productive, and get more out of the long days they put in bringing satellite television to millions of Americans. Whichever satellite service you work on, chances are you've seen or heard some horror stories. Maybe someone has worked 70 hours at your shop and only been paid for 40, or your time card mysteriously changes after it's been turned in, or you've been docked pay for a trouble call you know wasn't your fault. Why is it whenever there's a problem, the installers end up paying for it? Maybe the satellite companies just aren't making any money. Well, don't lose sleep worrying about that. In the first quarter, DirecTV posted a take-home profit of $674 million, up from just $558 million from the year before. That's $307,000 of profit every single hour of every single day. All that profit begins with you and the dish you install, receiving signals for the customer's entertainment, and sending profits back to DirecTV and to Dish Network. Despite these record profits, satellite companies want more and more from their techs and installers. Companies are now tracking techs with GPS units and are using new dispatch procedures that limit your earning potential. When work slows down, whole offices get closed and techs are forced out of the company. Service calls that are not your fault cost you time and money. Promotions and advancements happen not because of merit, but because of a good old boy system. Techs find themselves working hours they are not paid for, whether it's in the morning loading your truck or getting clocked out for a lunch that you never take. Tools and miles on personal vehicles are not fully reimbursed, sometimes in violation of state law. Some companies even illegally switch employees back and forth to being independent contractors. All the while this is happening, management makes it known that there are plenty of other contractors and employees out there willing to take your place if you don't want to put up with it. For a long time, installers had nowhere to turn, but now from coast to coast they're turning to STAN and making real improvements in their shops. STAN is also part of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, or IBEW, who since 1891 has been the largest and strongest organization for workers in the communication and electrical industries. The IBEW started when the electrical and communication industries, like satellite is today, were just getting going. Frustrated by lack of respect, dangerous working conditions, unpaid work, and no training, these working men and women banded together to help themselves and the industry they worked in. When the companies went and trained them properly, they started the first apprenticeship programs. When they were told to work as quickly as possible and to disregard their own safety, they refused to do so until basic problems were fixed. These early tradespeople transformed an anything goes electrical industry into one of the best American industries to work in today. Now, satellite installers and techs are doing the same thing. For decades, the IBEW has worked in partnership with some of the largest and most successful companies on Earth. Verizon, General Electric, AT&T, and countless others have all learned that problems like those facing satellite workers actually end up costing the company more than partnering with IBEW employees. When working people are not fairly compensated, turnover is high and productivity is low. Stan's aim is not to run companies into the ground, but to improve companies by making management listen to the people who understand the industry the best. That means you, the installers and technicians that are the front line for Dish Network and DirecTV. Unfortunately, it takes a lot of effort for companies to start listening to their employees. Laws can help, but are only good if companies follow them and if you know what to do when they don't. Stand members are trained in how to recognize violations and how to address these problems without putting their neck on the line. Let's go over the basic laws that affect you as an installer. Examples of how satellite companies typically break these laws and how you can take a stand with your co-workers to stop working for free and start putting more in your pocket right now.
federal Fair Labor Standards Act is a law that protects the most basic rights at work. It covers nearly all employees, and it's law in all 50 states. It sets the federal minimum wage, requires that hours worked over 40 in a week be paid at least time and a half the normal rate, and requires employers to maintain records and not falsify things like time cards. Regardless of where you work, the Fair Labor Standards Act usually covers you. Almost every satellite installer we've met with has been on the receiving end of Fair Labor Standards Act violations. Most of the time, these violations deal with overtime. So no matter what management says, if you work more than 40 hours a week, you must be paid time and a half for these hours. It's also important to remember that any activity you do for the benefit of the company, like drive time, prep time, or downtime when you're waiting for activations or for customers, is considered time you must be paid for under the law. Also, a lot of installers that are paid by piece rate aren't being properly paid for overtime, even though it's against the law. If you work piece rate, the law says your employer must establish your calculated hourly rate by dividing the total amount of money you made in a week by the total number of hours you worked in a week. So let's say on your last check you made $600 and worked 60 hours. Your calculated hourly rate is $10 per hour, and your overtime rate is one and one-half times this, or $15 per hour. Now if we do the math, your first 40 hours at $10 per hour equals $400. The 20 hours of overtime at $15 per hour equals $300. This totals $700. So according to the law, your $600 paycheck actually should have been $700, resulting in $100 in your employer's pocket that should have been in yours. These violations are not limited to one company. They happen all across the satellite industry. With so many problems at so many companies, it might seem impossible to make a difference. But things are already starting to change because of stand members learning about and using their rights. For example, recently at a large regional service provider for Dish Network in the Northwest, it was a common practice for managers to clock employees out each day for lunch, even though the employees work straight through. This practice stopped when STAN members initiated a United States Department of Labor investigation and started getting paid for all the hours they worked. These installers made a difference without putting their neck on the line and others around the country are joining them every day. So what can you do to clean this industry up? Just grin and bear it or hire a lawyer? Well, the Fair Labor Standards Act allows for workers to start an investigation without a lawyer and stand members are trained in how to properly build a case without jeopardizing their job. Bring that case forward in the strength and the safety of a group and fix these rampant violations of the most basic workplace laws. Some satellite companies out there try to do the best thing for their employees, but because of all the companies that cut corners and cheat their employees, they've had to adopt industry practices that squeeze employees' paychecks. For the employees of these companies, there are simple ways to put some money back into your pocket right now. A lot of satellite workers drive their own vehicles or have equipment and tool deductions taken out of their pay. These things are all tax deductible and Stan has put together a special program to help independent contractors and employees who pay out of pocket work expenses get the most savings at tax time. That doesn't sound like much, but do the math. In the last few years, each mile you've driven in your own vehicle not fully reimbursed by your employer, could have been deducted from your federal taxes at a rate of at least 50 cents per mile. Now add up your miles and think about the money you could have kept instead of giving it to Uncle Sam. Once stand members have addressed basic issues like missing overtime and safety concerns, or if you work at a place where these problems don't exist, there's a second law that helps ensure you grow with the company and that things don't change without your input. That law is the National Labor Relations Act. This act protects the right of employees to work in groups to address mutual concerns. It stipulates exactly when and where employees can discuss these workplace issues and their solutions without retaliation by their employer in the form of intimidation or threats. It also spells out the process by which employees can petition for and hold a vote to form a union. If a majority of employees vote for representation by a union, they can then negotiate a legally binding contract with their company. The National Labor Relations Act requires employers to bargain in good faith with employees who have gained representation as a union to hammer out an agreed-upon contract that is fair for both parties. 
Not only are your basic rights guaranteed by this contract, but how disciplinary issues are handled, scheduled pay raises, health benefits, seniority, and vacation pay can also be negotiated into your contract. STAND members have used the protection of the National Labor Relations Act to get new vacation policies, better health insurance, and new pay plans. They were able to accomplish this by sticking together instead of being divided and conquered. Now that isn't to say it's easy, but it's being done by installers like you every single day. As more installers join STAND, you can bet you'll hear different things from your co-workers and from management. Some co-workers might tell you that it's a fight you just can't win, or that it's not worth trying to fix the problems in your workplace. Management might try to play a good cop, bad cop routine, telling you that they have an open door policy, and that the changes you've waited for for so long are just around the corner. If management catches wind of installers joining STAND, they might try to tell you that if employees don't keep quiet, they'll just close the door. Or that STAND and the IBW will charge you hundreds of dollars a month in fees and force you out on strike. These are just scare tactics used to keep employees from working together. In fact, STAND has used the law to force owners to publicly recant their threats to close the business. In one case, when an installer was illegally fired, Stan helped him get a settlement for over $10,000 and his job offered back to him. The reason satellite companies will fight your efforts so hard is that they know you are stronger together. The best way to succeed is to stick together and learn the truth about what you are being told. The truth is, you can join Stan for free and access all the tools on SatelliteTechs.org. Only after you have a beneficial new contract will you be asked to pay dues of $20 per month, and no one is ever forced to work under unbendable union rules or forced out on strike. These are just scare tactics to keep the system the way it is, with control completely in corporate hands. Owners like the system now, where their bottom line is padded with your unpaid overtime, your charged back wages, and a workforce that gets fed up and quits before things ever change. Enough is enough. You work hard. Now work together. Thanks for taking the time to watch this DVD. If nothing else, we hope you have a little better sense of what your rights are at work and you'll be able to recognize problems in your shop. Countless other satellite installers have been in your shoes. Some have found better jobs, some grind it out, but every day more and more are joining together to make a difference by becoming involved in STANT, the satellite tech's allied for a new direction. First step is to give us a call or log on to our website at www.satellitetext.org. Drop us a line. Willie and I can guide you through the process of safely talking with your coworkers about common concerns and then joining with other installers in the Satellite Text Allied for a New Direction. By contacting us or registering for free on the STAND website, You'll get access to our exclusive networks of other techs and will have immediate backup and assistance when you run into a problem at work. STAND is always adding new tools and programs designed to help fix some of the most common issues satellite installers face, and your input is needed to develop solutions for these issues. STAND has the expertise and the experience to transform the entire satellite industry by fighting for technicians and partnering with companies on improvements so that installing satellite systems can provide a middle-class living for you and your family. It's been done before. Now it's your turn to do it again. Take the next step by contacting us and come join the stand for a brighter future. You get up every morning before the sun comes.